Hey guys, so today I'm out here at this pile of logs that we had set here last fall when I cut down the trees in my yard. First step is gonna be cut it up with a chainsaw and then we can split them sometime. There's some different types of trees. Uh, these were the pine trees here in this section, it's softwood. So this isn't good for uh, burning in a fireplace in a house. It burns really fast and there's a lot of sap. Uh, it's good for outdoors, for campfires. All the hardwood stuff I wanna try to keep separate. We don't have a wood burning stove, although if we have some wood piled and someday if we get one in the shop or something, either we'll stack it somewhere and save it for that or just sell it to somebody. But either way, we want to get it out of here. So it was running kind of hard. The blade's really sharp. It was just not cutting as easy as I thought it should. And then now the blade locked up and it, it wasn't spinning the chain at all. Everything's loose in here. I realize it's just the tip of this bar. Sprocket here at the end of the bar that can get seized up if there's some sort of piece of dirt or something in there. My dad and I couldn't figure out what the issue with the saw was there. I got that sprocket loosened up, but it was still shaking around when I tried to cut. My dad took the saw to the dealer. So I have some vaccinating I want to do with the heifers. We got 40 of them that should have a shot. So this is the vaccine we're going to give. It's for diarrhea and uh, respiratory, a couple different diseases that you can have in cattle. Uh, it can really spread if you don't stay on top of it with these vaccines. We give three rounds of this vaccine to every heifer before she's bred for the first time. And then we'll give one booster shot 30 to 50 days after they have each calf in the milking barn. It's the same vaccine. So we've been using these vaccines for years and haven't had issues with these diseases. And they're just something that's recommended across the board to use these or else you're gonna have potential for problems. We'll lock all the headlocks, get this feed pushed in. We're really liking these new medium sized headlocks we put in this barn. Cause it used to be these these tall ones the whole way down to uh down to there and and these heifers they wouldn't use them properly they'd sneak their head in the bottom of them also got a little more capacity in the barn more head spaces guess uh, i broke the broom handle the other day so i'll have to use this shovel to push feet in right now this is a two-part vaccine you gotta mix the liquid with the dry product to activate it and then you want to give it right away soon after that. These headlocks make it really handy. We put these man passes in here just to make it easy to get in and out of the pens. It's a little bit unhandy though when you're trying to give shots. There's the first one I need, 133. I'm just gonna have to chase her in from behind there. We're supposed to give this shot subcutaneously so that's underneath the skin. So we do that in the neck, you just gotta tent the skin a little bit, put two cc's underneath the skin. We can give this shot from behind, just give it in the uh, the tail head, there's some loose skin there. We'll do that as well if, if we have one that we gotta chase into a spot like that. But the headlocks make it so easy just to give it right in the neck.
This pit's actually getting pretty full in this barn. We were having trouble with the pit being too dry in here. We were trying to stir it up and get too dry at this end. All the rainwater from this area all runs in the pit down here. Then we set the spouting up here that we can we can run the water from the front half of the barn in the pit as well. So I had this hose set out here for a while. Got a lot of water in the pit that way. Now we have it going back down into the drain that'll go underneath and out into the waterway. Just wanted to make sure we could agitate the pit. We wanted to have a lot of water, but it, I guess we got a little too much water maybe. Pit's getting full. This group is all done. Got these all done. My dad helped me finish those up. He's taking the clipboard up to the computer. We'll get those all entered in so we keep track of which ones got their shots. Always good to double check and make sure I released all the headlocks. So my dad took this into the dealer. There was no issue with the bar or anything. It was actually the, uh, I guess the air filter was getting clogged up. That was all it needed was to be cleared out. There's certain things that I should know that I don't, that would be one of them. But uh, we got to figure it out, learn something. They gave us a kit, new spark plug and a couple filters that we can change once we start having issues. It's good to have on hand, but it, it didn't even need any new parts. Just needed to be cleaned out. I'm going to cut wood for a couple minutes and then I have to dry up a couple cows. Dry treating this cow here so she's gonna have a calf in two months. We're gonna stop milking her, giving her some uh, preventative treatment here, to keep her from getting mastitis during the dry period. And then I'm putting a sealer in the teeth. This will just create a seal, it's just a paste, it stays right in the, the end of the teeth there, it keeps any dirt from making its way in uh, that could cause an infection while she's not milking. This is the first cow I dried off. I'm gonna get her sorted out. Running the foot bath today. Megan takes care of setting that up. We run it three days a week. Send this cow over to the front of the prefresh pen. It's a little easier to sort cows out of pen four just because the special needs cows are over in the parlor now. When we have a group of cows in here, there's not an easy way to get cows over here. You just gotta move gates around a lot. I have one more cow to dry off and then we'll chase these to the dry cow barn. All right, it's the next day. I didn't get a lot cut yesterday because until we got the saw working, I had some cow work to do and then I had to mix feed. So back at it now. I'm gonna try and get this chopped up.
Haven't been working at it that long, but we already got through all this section of hardwood. Just a little bit more to cut, and then we'll push this out of the way. It's crazy how fast you run out of fuel when you're running the saw full throttle constantly. Gonna mix up another two gallon jug here. Dump two of these guys in and add some gasoline. I tried to sell these to a local mill to see if they wanted to cut them up for lumber, but no one was interested. I forget what type of pines these are. Whatever they are, they're not that valuable. I think it's time to switch the chain. It's not cutting as straight anymore and slower. The one log actually had a nail in it. I caught with the chain and uh, I thought it was gonna be destroyed at that point, but it was still working okay for a while. I'll switch the other one on here now. Alright guys, I'm in the shop here, it's the end of the day. Didn't quite get all that wood chopped up. 
kind of dulled my chains there. We're going to sharpen those and we'll get back at it next week, I guess. Hope you guys have a good Christmas. This video will probably be out after that, but all right, see you guys.